Hi everyone, I hope you guys are doing well. Today I will be reviewing a pair of boots I just picked up. This is the Dirk Bickenberg's Lace True Heel Boots from the early 90s. So as you guys might know, I used to own the Metal Heel Bungee Cord Boots. So for that pair, I only wore it around the house. It was rather comfortable, but when I wore it out, even before the one hour mark, my feet were killing me and the pair of boots were really heavy. Don't get me wrong, it's still a very sick pair. For those of y'all who prefer form over function and have a high tolerance for pain, by all means, that is a really sick pair. But for me, I do not like to compromise on comfort, so I ended up selling it. I was on the lookout for a pair with a non-metal heel, so it would be more comfortable. I got this pair of shoes from Grail. It was a Tech 41, but the seller said it would fit a size 42, so I ended up getting it. But when it came, it was pretty snug. When I wore it out, my second toe was hitting the front of the boot and it was really uncomfortable. So unfortunately, I might have to let this go. But nevertheless, I would still like to document this pair of boots to show you close-up shots of it to help you out with the sizing so you do not make the same mistake as me and also to show you how I would style them. So here are the boots themselves. It is made in Belgium. There are no box and tags that came with it mainly because it is made in the 90s. The box probably corroded or something. It is constructed from calf leather. To give you a better idea on the construction of the boot, I will remove the laces. There are no eyelids on the upper of the boot. It is made from a disconnected tongue. This is the shape of the toe box. At the back, you have a shoelace holder or a tab where the laces run through. There's more stitching at the heel cup for added reinforcement. This is the wooden heel with a hole passing right through where the shoelaces run as well. At the back of the tongue, it is a brown and smooth leather. The insides are made from suede and there is a brown leather tab. The insole is glued on and it has the Dirk Bickenberg's branding. This is the welt of the boot. This is the bottom of the boot. In the middle, you have a tag that says real leather made in Belgium and the sizing tag. In the middle of the forefoot portion, there's added traction. For the heel, the seller told me that he replaced the whole heel and at the back, it is Vibram. Now, I would run you through the lacing system. You place the leather lace at the front of the boot, ensuring that there is equal length on both sides. You take the ends of the shoelace and run it through the hole of the heel. And you repeat it with the other side. Next, you run the laces through the back of the shoelace holder. And you repeat it for the other side as well. Next, you'll run the laces through the hole of the heel again. So at this point, you have two laces running through the back and one lace in front. So this is more or less the setup. When you're wearing the boot, you have a large room to slot your feet in. When tying, form an X, go behind the boot, in front, and tie your laces as per normal. It's amazing how with only two features, you can have such an intricate lacing system. Of course, the lacing setup will depend on the length of your lace. I'm not too sure whether this came with the original pair of Dirk boots, but you can easily find leather replacement laces. As for sizing, I'm normally a US 9 in most Nike sneakers, and for designer shoes, I usually wear a European 42. For these pair of boots, I definitely recommend going through the size. Unfortunately for me, I went one size down to a European 41. When I wore it on feet, it felt snug, but when I started walking, the second toe actually hit the front of the boot and it was quite uncomfortable. So I definitely recommend going through the size. So that was how I styled the pair of boots. Although it has a crazy lacing system going on, but it pairs seamlessly with most pants. You can wear it with straight cut pants, flat pants, or even tuck them in to show it off. I really love the silhouette. It isn't overly chunky, nor is it too slim. It has a very nice balance. To sum up my thoughts on these pair of boots, compared to the metal heel bungee cord model which I previously got, this is so much more comfortable and lighter. Putting them on is a breeze. It is so quick and simple. 
And I love the fact that the laces are highly customizable. You can tie them in many different ways. You can go around the ankle collar multiple times. You can tie the knot in front or behind, and you can choose different lacing configurations. The silhouette is also really nice. It has a nice heel height and a very nice rounded toe. And I love the whole look and design of the shoe. From afar, it looks like a basic boot, but when you go closer, you can really see the details of the laces, which makes it very unique. All in all, it is such a shame that it is not in my size. If not, I would have kept it. I hope this video has given you the information you need on these pair of Dirk Beckenberg's Lace True Heel Boots. Thank you so much for watching. Have a nice day.